Let's get more on this and speak to Fadel Abdul Ghani from the Syrian Network for Human Rights. He joins me now from Qatar in Doha. Many thanks for joining us, Fadel. What do you make of what is going on in northern Syria, what appears to be this push by the YPG Kurdish forces to take over more land in the area? Yes, of course. Uh, it's very clear that uh, the PYG is uh, seizing a lot of lands in Syria. Yesterday, they fell apart and they move forward toward Gazaz. Uh, we believe that uh, the Turkish government is uh, very late about this threat, which is national security threat. Now, uh, if they seize Gazaz, they will move forward to Bab Salama. Then they control. Uh, now around 80 percent from the Syrian Turkish boundary, which has also threatened the Syrian population. Now, the Syrian population enforced displaced from their own land. Uh, before they said this is Tur Turkish land and something like this, it's uh, not clear. This is Syrian land. We can say it. Uh, this is population, Syrian population. This is carried ethnic. Uh, movement uh, actually they have their dreams in their mind supported now they 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 gain this support by by russia of course without russian support they are unable to move forward for example i'm telling you this boundary in afrin it's uh, uh, so calm from more than one and a half years and also uh, when they decided to move they moved and they seized the opposition area, not the regime area. They, so uh, they have boundary with the regime, with Nubal and the Zahra, which is under the regime control. Uh, even in uh, when they seized the, the uh, from other side, from al Hasaka and, and they moved forward now Western Al-Furat River, uh, the question is, what is the Turkish government will do? Uh, because we, uh, the reaction is, so poor till this moment, actually. What do you think the Turkish government is going to do? Uh, we recommended, we highly recommended that this is threatened toward the Syrian population first, uh, because of that uh, ethnic uh, touch, and uh, also uh, the displaced, uh, this, this movement of displacement toward the Turkish boundary create hundreds of thousands, uh, uh, they are gathered on the Turkish boundary, which is uh, create humanitarian crisis, which is uh, the aim for this, uh, why they are targeting hospital. This is the question. They, they want to transfer uh, the feeling that there is no hope at all to leave this land. You have to move. Uh, if you are not going to move, we, we will target the hospitals, the school, whatever, there is no red line. So this, uh, this uh, become a humanitarian crisis, then this will pressurize the Turkish government. We highly recommended several times to create no buffer zone, no ISIL zone, whatever the terms. This will uh, protect the, uh, Syri the Syria-Turkish boundary, and they have at least 10 kilometers uh, by the IHL, uh, by the international humanitarian to, by international law, sorry, to, uh, they have to protect their boundary from, from this threat. But okay. they are doing nothing. Actually. Okay, Fadal, now. we don't have much time, but I'll ask you one more question. The YPG is supported by the US. We know that they give them weapons. According to the US, the YPG have been key in pushing back Islamic State in the region. Are they wrong? Yes, they are wrong. I, I have a lot of meetings with the U.S. Uh, officials, and uh, we said you, are, you will not defeat a dictator by supporting other dictators, by supporting other criminals. Uh, we, we believe that there is not much difference between uh, ISIL and between the uh, PYD, because the PYD committed ethnic uh, criminal, they committed extrajudicial killing, uh, not against the Arab only, against the court uh, themselves also, against the, the court committee. Now the PYD uh, catch this uh, opportunity from the Russian support and from the American supply, both. And this is so, uh, so strange, actually. They are getting support from the Russian 
and from uh, the, the American at the same time. Okay. Uh, without, without the Russian uh, airplane, they are unable to move and steps. Okay, Fadel, uh, good to get your thoughts. Fadel Abdul Ghani joining us uh, live from Doha from the Syrian Network for Human Rights. Many thanks.